Bye. You know the expression seen live with rose tinted glasses? Well, in Spain recently, we have an expression that says seen live with purple tinted glasses. Purple is the official color of feminists, and I really like the metaphor of glasses. The idea of that we as a society have a problem in the way we see things, um, feminist is the solution. Feminists are the glasses that help us define all those blurry lines and give us some clarity. In that spirit, we've been doing for some months now a purple glasses challenge in our social media, in which we invite people to just to stop and think about something with that feminist perspective. It's mostly about analyzing things that you do and you see around you, but maybe you haven't stopped to check them with that point of view. So we've been talking about um, pink tax or the orgasm gap. We've talked about are, are the books that you're reading diverse enough? Are you, have you noticed the difference in shoes in boys and girls? What are the difference in the Christmas um, gifts that you got? Um, and it's just a moment of reflection. Obviously, every answer is different, every experience is different, and there's no right or wrong. But I think it's very valuable to dedicate that one minute to stop and reflect. And it's been a spark in a lot of great conversations in Facebook too. This year we were, this week we were talking about uh, which limitations you felt you had as a kid because of your gender, and it was angering but interesting to hear that people could not take certain subjects the way they were um, called with their uniform. Some people were saying that their parents were great and there were not limitations, and it it made me think that. It's not that simple. I mean, even if you have the most open, diverse parents, you're still going to be affected by a lot of multi-layers aspects of society. So a lot of the rules are unwritten, but they're there and everybody sort of applies. You know, it applies for almost everybody. Some of them are more obvious. Some of them are official. Um, but we are all, in a way, affected. Anyway, it was great conversations and it drove one of the ones that made me think the most was a friend of mine on WhatsApp that was saying that pink was a big limitation for him. He was very discouraged to buy anything in that color and it was very clear after a while that everything that was pink was just out of his limit. Doesn't matter if it were toys, clothes or even packaging of foods. And that opened another debate about pink, about do feminists hate it, do feminists love it, what does it mean? And you know the funny thing, like pink is just a color, a color, but it's the only color that comes with that emotional attachment, with that social and rational um, values. And do you imagine people arguing that they just cannot stand orange and what everything orange means to them or green or yellow? No, it doesn't happen. It only happens in pink because it's the color that represents women and girls. It's the one that they've told us that we have to love and it's the one that everybody knows that is us and just us. So the fact that there is that many that there are many emotions attached to a color should be a reflection in itself why can't we just not neutralize the things that are related with womanhood that's funny because in fairness pink is a color that means more than a color for me um in 2019 my new year resolution was to do more things that i want to do but they scared me so the 2nd of January, I went to a hairdresser and told them to dye my hair pink. And I love it because when I see myself in the mirror, I see fears and I see brave, which are two things that normally pink do not provoke. So yeah, I think, you know, there's people that love it because of what they're told it means. There's people that are already finding it. There's people that reject it and there's people very few, but some that understand that it's literally just a color. But yeah, I think as every other uh, purple glasses challenge, 
what it's valid in this is taking the five seconds to think about it, to analyze it, to have an opinion, to challenge our views and, you know, grow a little bit. So please um, follow us and engage and let's debate about all those you know, many conversations on points of views that we should be challenged in our daily life. Bye!